law that protects law enforcement officers and first responders. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. Hello, everyone. I'm Russ Bowen. A year ago, a police officer lost his life when he was hit by a car while on duty. And since then, law enforcement agencies and lawmakers have worked to increase penalties. CBS 17's Michael Highland is live in the Chevy Weather Beast to show us the impact of these changes. Michael. I talked to the Highway Patrol about this today, and they say when the troopers are out on the roads, just about everybody's at least had a close call, so they hope stiffer penalties will send a message to drivers to be careful. I-95 in Lumberton last December, Officer Jason Quick would respond to his final call. A driver hit him when he tried to cross the highway. After his death, his wife Leah says she had to do something to try to help other spouses of emergency responders. I wanted to do something that um, would honor my husband. This video from the State Highway Patrol helps show the problem. You see Trooper M.G. McLam get hit and survive in Cumberland County. This week, stiffer penalties go into effect for violating the state's move over law. This deals with cases where an emergency responder is killed or seriously injured. Previously, this was considered a class I felony with a sentence of three to 12 months in prison. Now it's a class F felony carrying 10 to 41 months in prison. These increased penalties are great. Sergeant Chris Knox is with the state highway patrol. Twice he says he got hit because a driver didn't move over. I have back pain pretty regularly still because of the incidents where I was hit and so so, you know, it is something that has long-term ramifications if, if someone is hit. Nearly 20 years after this law went into effect, he says he still talks to drivers who say they didn't know about it. If nothing else, he hopes these changes bring more awareness. It's such a common sense law uh, that when you see the lights, you move over. Especially when one split-second decision can change lives forever. And taking a look here live again, this new law could also mean prison time for someone, even if they have a clean record. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.